Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is LV. Hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new to my channel, this is my YouTube channel where I talk about plants, plant propagations, and uh, semi hydroponics sometime. <laughs> Today, we're gonna do some updates. Um, a lot of people ask me how my plant's doing, so I'm gonna show you the update of this huge giant high constellation. <laughs> so let's get started. I have this Thai constellation 2019 December so it's been a very long journey um, it's always in soil I got this from NSC Tropical it was only this four leaf when I got this like four or five leaf it was an XL size it's growing really well to me I'm really happy about it I reported about a month or two months ago um, because it was grow all out the pot and I believe it's around maybe like 12, 12 inches pot so yeah, I just water it. The root already come out from the hole. I've kind of expected because Monstera have root everywhere all the time. They don't really like to be rebound, but they grow root quite quickly. This can be an umbrella. So this is the newest leaf. It's just unfolded about a month ago. So these two leaves, I believe is this year or at least in the past six months. It doesn't grow very fast for me because I'm more on the underwater size persons and that's why I have plastic pot in these plants. I like to shower it, especially right now in the summer. My plan is to shower it once a week or every at least 10 days because this plant gets thirsty quite quickly and it like indirect bright light. So I grow it indoors. I have it in my under my Sensi grow light and I believe it's like it so much because you can see it's not really like flopping up to reaching for the light but it's kind of going down. I have a slowly list fertilizer when I repotting it. I add a lot of it and also uh, warm casting in it and the other one I added is a blood meal so I add it about twice a year. I know like sometimes people don't want to fertilize during the winter time but my Thai constellation never stopped really growing even during the winter. I believe that is the one that contribute to the size of this leaf. So yeah, a lot of my aeroid has blood meal. It's just, I like a big plant. For water wise, like I pour water in no more than once a week. If I water too often, it's got rot. I supposed to be every week, so I'm gonna shower it, but then I did it maybe every two weeks, sometimes once a month I shower it. And once it's shower, it, it show you like, they, they love it. They grow quite quickly if you do dry and wet cycle. So this is my big mama <laughs> that I would never <laughs> able to get rid of it. But this is my second one. I got this maybe December this year. Oh no, I mean like 2020 de December. I've grown this one in semi hydroponic because I seen like some people do it in semi hydroponic. I just want to challenge myself to make it as big as this guy. I got it as a cutting. It's rooting pretty well and then was in the soil and then <laughs> I rot it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to reroot it again. So now it is in uh, Leka. So I'm trying to do this as semi hydroponics. I love this one. Have so much variegation on it. This is a better tissue culture type concentrations because right now I would say like almost 100% of the uh, Thai concentration in market is a tissue culture plants, and the uh, technology is getting so much better now. That new tissue culture plant has very good of uh, variegations but I do kind of worry about this one see there's a black stem on this leaf I don't know what I'm not sure I should cut it or not but this is the thing that I worry me it probably from the previous rod but this two new leaf like newer leaf is really nice hopefully this one will be <laughs> grow as big as this guy next year <laughs> Right now, um, still a long way to go because I have to re -road it again. The root doing pretty well. Uh, for semi-hydroponic, it's just similar as I did show uh, in my other video about like this size under the bottom of the pot has a water reservoir and then um, check the pH, flush it every other week and then that's, that's all. It's pretty easy to maintain. This is all about my Thai constellation. I don't think I'm going to take cutting about out of it or probably get the Thai constellation. Early stage of my collections, I got the Thai constellation, at, Thai constellation as a cutting and then I was not experienced on propagation. So I have a kind of a bad memory about propagated Thai constellation. So for me, I would never cutting it because the internode is so close to each other. But I would say like, 
it's it's not as hard. I think it's pretty similar as elbow, maybe even like easier than elbow. But I I don't think I will have any like cutting out of my thigh constellations. Even it's going to grow very huge. So yeah, the this is all the updates on my baby big baby boy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. Have any question? Put a comment down below. Um, I'll try to answer you as much as I can. So thank you for watching again. Remember to click like and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.